Aufstehen. Aufstehen. Drei Kim. Noch fünf Minuten. Most of the time we are on the road, traveling around and uh, climbing in different places. And we are really thankful that we can do this because it's a, a really cool way to live our life. And are you motivated? Yeah. Are you sure? Yeah. So I first came to Austria because a good friend of mine told me about this area. Let's go! <laughs> At that time, I just discovered crack climbing and thread climbing, and uh, I was curious to, to try it and improve in this kind of style. Found like a little paradise with a lot of granite, really good granite, which was perfect for thread climbing. In the past, I spent a lot of time in Ticino, but I never knew that just one hour away there is a really cool place for crack climbing and uh, I really enjoyed the time around Osula to climb here because we don't have a lot of uh, crack climbing cracks in, in Europe and this is really special. In Osula there are a lot of uh, hard bolted routes which also work on gear. We climbed um, other routes like Lapoterapia or Profondo Rosso, Denti Stretti in Balma, Grazie Ricchi in Cadarese. There are really a lot of hard routes which are also possible on gear and for us it's just a challenge to to climb in a different way. Bondo Crack is a good example for climbing in Ossola. The route follows a really obvious uh, crack. It was a really old project, was bolted, because probably at the time thread climbing was not like so famous in Italy. So we went there with the idea of climbing it in gear. The first time when we saw Gondo Crack, I thought uh, it looked really easy, uh, it didn't look super hard. But um, as soon as we tried the, the crux moves, we recognized that it's really tricky to find a perfect solution for the crux. Gondo crack is a short route. It's uh, not so overhanging, it's just slightly overhanging. The first part is quite easy, or well, it's not so hard compared to the difficult of the route. So you have like this really bumpy climbing on good poles until a rest. And I think it's a uh, 7C up to there. And then the last, I think, 10 meters are the real crux of the route. So you have uh, some uh, some first hard moves, then you you reach like a good slot where you place the last piece of gear, and then you have a really hard boulder sequence at the top, and that's the crux of the, of the route.
think the, the real challenge for the future would be to find like difficult routes or even harder routes which are uh, possible on gear and not to bowl them and just to climb them like that. Thank you.